Welcome, Mississippi. Here you will be provided the ample opportunity to repay your debt to society through the rigors of hard labor. <laughs> we got fields need clearing, roads need building, and ditches need digging. You will only eat what you can grow. Your crop don't come in, you go hungry. This here is Camp 8. <laughs> Camp 8 is for incorrigibles. <laughs> so whatever you've done to get here, believe me, I'm not impressed. I've seen it all before. We ain't got no fences here at Camp 8. We don't have no fences. We don't need no fences. We got us the gun line. Um... <laughs> I gave you a lot of it was life. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bruh. You know, growing up, that was the only movie my grandparents had at their house. For real, they didn't have no cable. It was on VHS. Wow. And me, my sisters, and my cousins would watch life over and over again, and over <laughs> and over again. Girl, life. Every time I see life, you see something different. I'm telling you. You know what? When I moved to my first apartment, we didn't have cable either. And we had a, a DVD player. And we had one movie. Life. Final Destination. Oh. <laughs> I was like, damn. Final Destination. I watched Final Destination 42,000 times. Bruh. I'm t- it be like that. And then mm-hmm. as soon as it, as soon as soon life was over, you had to go hit that rewind button. Girl, not the rewind. <laughs> and let it mm-hmm. and run it back and start it all over again. VHS, my God. <sighs> Sounds so old. Now. It does, just like CDs, girl. You know, Best Buy said they ain't selling CDs no more. I don't know why they were still selling them. I don't, I don't know why anybody still sells CDs. They don't. They're starting to make cars without CD players in them. So that's true. What's the point? That's very true. I do miss the days of like going and like buying a CD though, and mm-hmm. like reading the little pamphlet that would come with it, and reading the credits the lyrics. and. Yeah. Yeah, because they definitely don't make those anymore. And I don't know, can you read that shit in Apple Music? I don't think so. Oh. I know you can Google it, like if you go to like Lyric Genius. But if your favorite artist ain't on Lyric Genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. You just don't know. These kids these days, they don't know what they're missing out on. Don't. They or don't. going to the store and the CD be gone. <laughs> Bruh, and be mad. I'm trying to think. Or well, going to Target, because you knew Target always had mm-hmm. the unedited version. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I know Target brings back some memories for you. <laughs> Fuck Target. You can let me have them two CDs. I love Target. All right, that's all right. I love, I love Target. Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready for your song quote sure. of the week? <laughs> sure. <clears throat> Gotta keep it on the down low. I'll never let my mama know. <laughs> Only call him on my cell phone. Mm. Only see him after dark. I met him on the six train, the way he said my name. The brother had a lot of game. Ooh. Had me open from the start. He scoops me up in his ride, Friday about a quarter to nine. (laughs) So fly and so fine, and I'm so glad he's all mine. Okay, now fuck. Um, I'm (sighs) kidding. If I read the next next one. I feel like it's Rihanna. But, but it is. Okay, Thug in My Life. It is. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. We said the first part, but I was like, oh, there's a thug in, in my, my life. How am I going to tell my mama? Girl, that was, uh, she going to say it ain't right. But, but he's so good to me. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I was like. Bro, that was, you did a good job. But I, didn't, I didn't know, like, I didn't know the chord, like the hook. I mean, the, you know, the, the verse. Yeah, I didn't that know the That was the very chorus. first verse. I just I I'm, I'm glad you said the first part, but then I was thinking like Tierra Marie or <laughs> I was like, dang, I really don't know. That was what Vis- Visions of the Sun or what's that I first think so. album called? Yeah, this song, if I'm not mistaken, is from 2010. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Well, it sounded well. You got it. That's all that matters. Come here, rude boy, <laughs> boy. Can you get it up? So we're both three for three. Yeah, man. See, and I have to. Choose specific movies for you. Because <laughs> have you ever seen a wood? Yes, I have, but I don't know if You're I can remember know nothing from it. Or, okay, we'll see about next week how it goes. Can you believe we've been doing this shit for a year? Bruh, happy one year, bruh. Happy one year. We are officially toddlers. And happy one year to our listeners, and thank you for riding with okay. us. Okay, we really appreciate it. We just, you know... We enjoy y'all fucking with us because we fuck with y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes, heavy, indeed. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. Uh... Oh. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? My bad. 
Hey, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Hear Ye Podcast. Podcast. This is Tan. And this is B. You ready to go ahead and get started, bro? Let go. Let's get it. Hey. All right. So let's go ahead and get started in this week with with the shits. Okay. Let's go. Let's see here. Where where are we going to start? Hmm. Okay. Honey Rounds. Mm-hmm. Claremont Twins. Bad Girls Club? Were they in the Bad Girls, Bad Girls Club? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, twins. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... Designer bags. I literally have no idea who they are. So I only know them from the Bad Girls Club. And did you did you watch their season? I'm not a Bad Girls fan. Oh, Bad Girls Club fan. It actually was really good. And the crazy thing is, whenever their season was on, mm-hmm. there were like these brutal fights that were going on in the house, mm-hmm. and that's why they ended up getting kicked out. Uh, both of them got kicked out. Yeah, both of them got kicked out. Mm. Were they jump people? Yeah, they were like jumping people, but they, it was like ruthless fights. It was more than just like somebody just pushing. Like mm-hmm. they were in there like really trying to draw blood. Mm. Yeah, the shit was wild. Sounds like it. Yeah. And then the twins were like away because, you know, every time they get into a fight, they send people to a hotel yeah. to go cool down. Mm-hmm. While they were gone, the rest of the roommates took all their designer bags. They had Chanel. They had Celine. Mm-hmm. They had everything. Wow. Cut them up, Mm. their clothes, cut them up, put them in the tub, bleached everything. Like, they ruined everything that those girls had. Wow. Yeah. I think I did see something like that. That, You know how disrespectful that is? That's why, girl, I would be be ready to fight. Girl, yes. I would literally be ready to fight. Wow. So, but recently, as of yesterday, Mm -hmm. or Wednesday, Mm -hmm. It has come out that um, Chanel, I think her name is Shanada Sinead. She's one of the Claremont twins. Mm, one of them. <laughs> was actually arrested at LaGuardia Airport in, mm. New, in New York. Mm-hmm. And um, bitch is in some serious trouble. So she allegedly stole more than $20,000 from a dead man mm. that she met on a prostitution date website. Wait, wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Allegedly, the man invited her out for a date for four hundred dollars. Wait, oh, he invited her on a date for four hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. So they claim that she actually left his house after whatever went down between Mm -hmm. the two of them. Mm -hmm. She took his credit card, Mm -hmm. and the next morning, the man was actually found dead in his apartment from an overdose of cocaine, fentanyl, and some sort of anti-warming drug. Huh. So are they saying that are they thinking she did it or he did it to She hasn't name? been like she oh, has charged no, for murder. Yeah, she hasn't been charged with like with any connection to the murder. Uh, but she has been charged with the fact that after he died, she spent six hundred and fifty dollars on flights, seventeen thousand dollars on retail, mm. and a thousand dollars on rent. <laughs> that shows you where a bitch's priorities are. Well, at least she paid the rent. <laughs> 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 wow. Yes. So they out here really just living a struggle life. Bruh, that's what I was like, you know what? You be thinking that shit be all glitz and glamour mm-hmm. on IG. Mm-hmm. And this bitch is out here selling her box for $400. Girl, I don't look nowhere near them Claremont twins. And you're going to have to come up off of more than $400 for this, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. $400. I would so they said they had sex. They said whatever went down. Oh, the man ain't here to tell. I wonder if she knew he died though, like before she spent the money. Because I feel like if he hadn't died, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have gone after her. Because you know what I'm saying she's like, well, you paid me for this. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if she had stole the, if she had stole the credit card and spent all that money, then it would have just been like that. You know, write off instead of actual charges being filed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. Like, cause he was like, I don't know who took it. Somebody took it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because he has something to lose, but now that he's dead, they see some charges. Like, oh, that's crazy. 
I mean, either way, it's still you using a credit card that ain't yours. Yeah. Whether the person's dead or alive. That's true. I mean, how, how did she stole it, though? She could have said he gave it to me. He didn't authorize you to spend twenty thousand dollars, girl. Well, uh, yeah. So she actually got arrested and she was bonded out. Mm-hmm. How much was her bail? Um, I read somewhere that her bond was two hundred thousand dollars, but don't let me get to lying. Hold on. Mm. That's twenty. What twenty percent? Yeah. Mm. So ten percent or whatever. Yeah. So if if the if the bond was two hundred, then mm-hmm. she had to come up off of twenty. <laughs> so you really had to pay your money back, basically. Somehow. What kills me is that people love calling Africans scammers. <laughs> and y'all be the main ones. And you see what you want to spend your scamming on? You want to spend your scamming on retail. I mean, what else she going to buy? She got to look good for the rest of the dates. I would have put a little bit more on rent. Well, <laughs> like paid a couple months up? Yeah, I would have paid a couple months up. Maybe a year. A thousand dollars for rent, though? Where's she staying? Bingo. Where she live? Bingo. <laughs> I mean, because in New York, a thousand dollars ain't gonna get you shit. But down here, you can you can get it. Unless it's seven of y'all, <laughs> and everybody trying to come up with eight thousand dollars. Live. She live in a brothel. Her and her sister. Wow. You don't remember whenever was it Future's video? Real sisters. I never seen it. Oh, he had both of the, the Claremont twins in it. And they were kissing, like making out with each other. Huh? Yes, bruh. Bruh, what the hell is going on here? Nah, bruh, I'm telling you. That's why I said a bitch who charged $400 for some coochie, she she about down with anything. She cold. <laughs> I don't know if she cold now. That's that's a lot. Bruh, it's a whole lot. My phone go off? No. Oh, okay. No, nah, I ain't hear nothing. Okay. Let me be sure. But, so I guess we're going to see what's going to go on with the Claremont twins. Um, best of luck. Mm. Um, you think that they still going to go on dates while she out on bond? Yeah, hey, hi, she got to pay for that lawyer. <laughs> yeah, she can go out on dates. Get it how you live. And, like, they, they had a picture of her and her sister, like, coming out of the courthouse or whatever. Uh-huh. And they looked fly. But they were, like, all covered up and the of child. I bet their parents are so proud. <sighs> Mom and dad, if they mom and daddy know what they really got going on. <laughs> okay. Wow. If they know. So. Mm. All right. So okay. let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see where we're going to go next with this one. Okay. Um, let's see. Hundred rounds. Mm-hmm. Mike Epps. Uh, silk. <laughs> um, daughter. Daughter? You remember whenever he went off on his daughter and called her a little bitch? Oh, yeah. And he said his big mom was ugly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, comedian. Uh, funny. Okay. He said funny? Yeah. Oh. So you guys may or may not he- have heard about the recent debacle between Mike Epps and Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. But apparently um, there was a website that posted an article where Mike Epps, and it was titled... Mike Epps thinks everyone is funnier than Kevin Hart. (laughs) You feel him, though. Mm. So Mike Epps did go ahead and hop in the comment section, Mm -hmm. and he stated, that's not press worthy. Get the fuck out of (laughs) here. Now, post that. Mm. Kevin Hart decided to say, all I can say is that you're a sad individual to Mike Epps. Mm. I talked to you several times face-to-face in attempts to put the BS behind us. I even reached out to you like a man and tried to get to the bottom of your bitterness. <laughs> when will you realize that my success has nothing to do with you or your journey? Mm. Unlike you, I want to see you win. Mm. I'm actually a fan, champ. <laughs> I'm praying for the day that you will realize that so many of us entertainers have a crabs in the barrel mentality. Mm. You are the biggest crab I know. Wow. I will continue to shine and continue to make history and continue to do comedy at the highest level. Okay. If that makes you sick, then so be it. <laughs> I will hand you a throw up bucket. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm the right. throw up bucket. Just hand him a bucket. Okay. Because this next year that I'm about to have will be my best, Mr. Bitter. Mm. While you worry about this grown little man, 
Please know and understand that all I am worried about is success. Catch up. See, now he missed the mark with the sick. I would have said get well soon or something like that. <laughs> and then th- a throw up bucket. Wow. Honestly, yeah. The throw up bucket, I was like, oh, okay, Kevin. Uh, I, I mean. Oh, all right. Uh, I, I, uh, mm. Wow. Wow. Hmm. So, yeah. So, so Mike Epps did go ahead and respond. And he said, at Kevin Hart, you still starving to be a victim? I said it wasn't press worthy. And here you go, as usual, trying to show the world how great you are because people pick on you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you have a long line of shit to clean up before you can hand me a motherfucking bucket. Wow. I've been doing this shit 25 plus years, Mr. Victim. Mm. Don't get too cute, little brother. This shit is a lifetime achievement. And stop following my comments around the World Wide Web. Across the World Wide Web. (laughs) WWW. That ain't an old nigga. Okay, literally. Mm. How do you find this shit? I talk about everybody, but you always take it personal. The whole internet talk about you. So don't stop here. You got a lot of responding to do. Mm. And for everybody reading this, me and Kevin been knowing each other too long, so this is not a beef. If it was, I would have never responded. Again, like I told you face to face, congrats on everything, man. You seem to be a great person, but I still don't think your ass is funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's real talk. I mean... You don't think he's funny either. I don't think Kevin is funny at all, but I understand that that's not my kind of humor, so mm-hmm. it is what it is. Mm. But I don't find Kev funny. You find Mike Epps funny? I think Mike Epps is funny. Mm. But Kev, nah, I'm cool. Mike Epps are hit and miss. And somebody's like, Kevin Hart is white people funny and Mike Epps is black people funny? Yeah. No, Mike Epps is nigga funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the special type of nigga. For real. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess, I, I understand, like, Kevin Hart, is on, he's on a different level because... If we get pills to in his audience. Right. Like his audience and, you know, like Kev does movies and things like that. But I was actually listening to a podcast and they made like a very good point. Mm-hmm. They were like, you know, there's a difference between being a comedian and being a clown. Mm-hmm. They were like, Kev is a clown. Mm. Like Dave Chappelle is a comedian. And so whenever they like further explained it. They were like, um, you know, Dave Chappelle can go and sit on a stage by himself with just a stool and people will laugh. Dave Chappelle can stand up there with no props, no nothing and still be funny. Hmm, That's true. But Kevin Hart, on the other hand, has a little bit more antics and things that he does while he's performing. What do you mean? It's mostly his face, though. Yeah, but have you ever been to a Kevin Hart show? Yeah. Remember we went to the one in, uh, for Essence Fest? Oh, yeah. And we can hear shit. Yeah. The mics weren't working. I went to Kevin Hart's show whenever he came to Dallas mm-hmm. one year, and he had flames and <laughs> lights uh-huh. and all other kind of stuff that was just running around all over the place. Mm-hmm. But whenever they said that, I was like, wow, that's a good point. And I guess they don't mean clown in like a negative way. It's yeah. just a different way of entertaining. Yeah. And so they were like, you know, some other clowns are Marlon Wayans. Mm, I can see that. Yeah. I was like, you know, maybe that, maybe that is what the difference is. Maybe. Who's another clown? <sighs> I'm trying to think. Cat Williams? Cat, uh, yeah. But, but Cat's funny too, though. Cat's, Cat's funny, but he's got like antics. Yeah. And like, you know. He's not just up there telling jokes. Yeah, he's not just up there telling jokes. Yeah. So I feel like Kevin Hart really needs to stop being so sensitive. Mm-hmm. This can't be the first time that people have told him that he's not funny. This can't be the first time that he's heard he's not funny from another comedian. Mm-hmm. I mean, who else was it that went on there? Was Somebody, he funny? Yeah, somebody went to Breakfast Club and said that Kevin Hart wasn't funny. Was it Faison? Was it no, he, Faison? Said, he said Dave Chappelle yeah, wasn't Faison funny. Yeah, Faison said Dave Chappelle wasn't funny. It was somebody else. Like, like come on, Kev. Like, this, this, you should be used to it by now. Mm. And at the end of the day, you still got more money than the rest of them niggas. So what difference does it make? <sighs> That's that little man syndrome. Yes. Mm. I mean, I don't, why don't, why don't Mike Epps feel the need to even speak on him? But who, who, we don't know the context of the article. Maybe they asked. But he said, he said no, it was a, it was a comment. 
on Instagram. No, know? there was an article, and then Mike Epps commented and said that this isn't newsworthy. No, but he said he wrote in a comment that said uh, everybody's fighting fighting that Kevin Hart or something like that. Yeah, he said that after Kevin had responded. The first comment that Mike Epps said was, "This isn't newsworthy. Get the fuck out of here." Oh. And then Kev commented with the whole crabs in a barrel and all that shit. I'm gonna mm-hmm. give you a throw up bucket and. <laughs> Yeah, okay. What you give a Nico? Because that's who was sick. <laughs> a <re-up. laughs> That's who was sick. A uh, re-up. What, what did you give a Nico? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. Kevin Hart, he did make me sick. Mm, 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 but whatever. So uh, I guess we'll see if uh, maybe Kevin Hart and um, Mike Epps will have like a comedian showdown. Remember when uh, Steve, who was it? Steve Harvey and was it Kevin Hart? Steve Harvey and Kevin Hart? Yeah, they had like a comedian showdown about who was funnier. I don't remember that. You don't, let me, let me, uh, because it was like a, oh. Yeah, I don't remember that. Mm. Maybe it'll be like, you know, like rat beef and they'll just like start like dissing each other on the road. Really? Fuck that nigga. (laughs) It was Cat Williams and Steve Harvey. Oh really? Yeah. What was this? They had, ooh, this is like 2017. They had a, a like a, a battle, like a comedy battle. Wow. So who the fuck won? I don't, know. I don't even know if there's a winner. Um. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely don't remember that at all. Yeah, because uh, Cat Williams like was talking about Steve Harvey and all that stuff. He's like, I want to apologize for what's gonna happen. But the second you get out on stage, I need to I need you to understand that your final time, that that's your final time as a king of comedy. Hmm. And I wow. think he really did like, you know, he was really, really funny. So mm. So do you want to see a showdown? No, hell no. I don't even listen, I'm not paying for that. Uh, me either. Uh, the fuck? I don't really care to see you the one of them. So I mean it ain't Ain't no sweat off my brow. It's, it's not <laughs> something I'm just interested in staying in, to be honest. Yeah, me either, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm good on all that. But, yeah, man, so I guess we're going to see what's going to happen, what the fuck them niggas got going on, mm-hmm. and we're just going to go from there. Okay. Turn up. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Okay. Hunting rounds, mm-hmm. R. Kelly. Really? Yeah. Are we really doing this? Yeah. I don't even know what's new with him. Uh, <laughs> Pied Piper. Um, Churin. Who? Churin. I'm going to piss. <laughs> <laughs> Old. Okay. So, just whenever we thought that uh, Mr. R. Kelly was only focused on, it, just when you thought you only had to hide your, hide your kids, hide That's your daughters, <laughs> now you got to hide your sons. Huh? You didn't hear about this? No. Girl, I t- anytime R. Kelly comes up, I just tuned out. It just shows me that this, this is an old nigga that just don't give a damn. Mm. So now R. Kelly has also been accused of reaching out to a 17-year-old boy mm-hmm. via Twitter mm-hmm. and um, asking the boy to come and visit him, and he even offered to fly the boy out. Mm-hmm. On top of that, R. Kelly also allegedly sent the boy nude photos. Huh? Mm-hmm. To come out and do what? Hmm. Let me show you the boy first. Here's the boy. Oh. He looks extremely young, doesn't he? And he looks yeah, like he likes men. Right. With the crop top on. Mm-hmm. All right. So he cute, though. Right. So it's actually the boy's friend that went ahead and came out, and he posted on Twitter saying, R. Kelly trying to hit on a 17-year-old boy. Mad emoji. Mm. There's more messages on iMessage of him sending nudes of himself to my friend. Trying to convince my friend with money to come see him. I'm glad he screenshotted everything. So, Kel writes, you trying to come to my concert August 17th in St. Charles, Missouri? I got a spot over there we can hang out. Mm. I can fly you out. Are you dead ass? I'm not sure. I'll have to see. That seems kind of far. You a fine looking boy. But if so, it will be... Fun. My team will make sure you get here and back safe. Take my number. Thanks. Prayer hand emoji. Okay. Wow. Do you see nudes? I didn't see the nudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't see the nudes. But it definitely shows that uh, R. Kelly did hit this young boy up. Mm -hmm. And 
when, when, when we gonna stop this nigga? Girl, he not. It's too many aunties that still listen to happy people and uh, what's this uh, bump and grind. Like he's not gonna be stopped until the, <laughs> the elders have to pass. <laughs> That's what we gotta wait the on. The elders have to pass. We gotta wait on our, all the R. Kelly fans to die. Yeah, pretty much. R. Kelly died too. Then. Mm, I don't. <laughs> You're right. Whole, whole ass niggas always live long lives. For the for the most part. R. Kelly probably lived to be about ninety eight, ninety seven. Girl, probably a hundred and seven. <laughs> He'll probably outlive me, goddammit. Step in the name of love. Girl, and still probably be performing. Girl. Girl, if... It's probably like he fuck with them young kids so he can... Keep <laughs> young. Still that youth. Yo, for real. He's, he's still the, the youth out of them. Girl. Child. Mm. So, I don't know, man. I mean, this is just an old, dirty, nasty nigga. It is. Like, ew. And the nigga must be stopped. He can... Ew. He must be stopped. So, y'all just be on the lookout. <laughs> You know, keep R. Kelly on your nasty radar. Nasty niggas. Keep keep R. Kelly and the n- rest of the niggas like him away, on the radar. Away from y'all kids. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. They fucking everybody out here. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> wow. So I'm. Um, this can't be the first time. Then he felt that comfortable. This obviously can't be the first time. That's the same thing I said. It cannot be the first time. And what kills me is that remember that. Uh, that audio that you let me listen to of R. Kelly on the phone with that girl, mm-hmm. it sounded like that nigga was so nervous about him being yeah. recorded. So why would you do something that has a, like such a paper trail? Like exactly. people can just, maybe he don't know nothing about screenshotting. Mm, you, you think that's true though? Like, I just like can't said, imagine. I just, I just can't imagine him like being out there like that, especially as long as he's been a pedophile. Like I feel like he know how to move. And- I thought he was a little bit more player than that whenever it comes to his pedophilia. Mm. That according to this pedophilia. I mean, so I guess we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that. Um, yeah, the mm-hmm. boy's only 17. <sighs> Bye, R. Kelly. Mm-mm-mm. So let's go ahead and go on over to the next topic. Okay. 100 rounds. Okay. Kylie Jenner. <sighs> Fillers. <laughs> Stormy. Rich. Travis. Okay. All right, so you mentioned fillers. Have you seen Kylie without her lip injections? Uh, without some. <laughs> <laughs> you think she still got a little bit there? I, I, I know she has some. I agree. Like you know, on her show, I mean, you remember how thin her lips was when she was little, on that pole when she was like what 12, 10, 11, 12? Paper bag thin. That's what I'm saying. Kylie had no lip. Kylie was so ugly. Was hook nose that. <laughs> You will not she say hook nose. <laughs> you will not say hook nose. <laughs> and them thin ass wispy lips. Girl. Look like two sheets I remember of I'm watching the Keeper College Car- Roll Notebook paper. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching the Kardashians and being like, boy, that one right there, that's that's that one right there. I don't know. Mm. And I uh, this may be the little but I actually like the lip fillers on her. Really? They look good on her. Like they transform her face. Like now she looks I just thought she was too young for all of that. I mean, she was too young, but she needed them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she was just so young. And like, for you to be 20 years old and now you're like, okay, I'm done with that. You're still young. You're moving it was, That's what I'm saying. Like, And that, that shows me that you've been getting that shit for the longest. And you remember her family had the nerve to be like, those were her natural lips? I know. You fucking lying. You don't remember her family saying that? No. Like, she we- would deny that she had lip injections. Hmm. But now she just looks like a regular old little white girl with big ass hips. I don't know what they're going to do about that. She's going to leave those in place. <laughs> girl. She, uh, okay. I guess, Kylie. Oh. But so Forbes is actually catching some heat this week uh, because they, <laughs> they named Kylie a self-made billionaire on their recent issue. Mm. So... At twenty, they said at twenty one, she's set to be the youngest ever ever self made billionaire. Welcome to the era of extreme fame leverage. The magazine cover read, mm. and they got Kylie in this black suit. It, it don't even look like Kylie really got the suit on. It look like they put a damn head on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she got one of them suits and nothing else on it. <laughs> <laughs> You remember that, and when you take the senior pictures, they had that thing that you got right. over and you just had your regular bottoms on? Hell yeah, and all it just showed was your shoulders. Wow. It That's don't how even... I look. So I'm feeling some way about that. Okay, let's talk about it. Because a lot of people are, and I actually think that it makes, it's very valid. Because Supa is self-made. Hello. Kylie. Is not. Is not. She came into it with 
funds from her parents. Hello. Funds from her own. Hello. She was on a television. She had exposure. She had already had a social media following. So I don't. Mm. I think the word self-made is being thrown around a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's equivalent to when Trump was like at a small investment of a million dollars. Thank you. Like, like, nah, fam, you've got access to some resources that other people dream of. Exactly. And, mm, mm. You know, and me and my cousin were actually talking about it. And she was like, you know, the sad part is, is that this makeup line probably wasn't even Kylie's idea. It was probably some business investment that was brought to her mom mm-hmm. a business idea mm-hmm. and they were like hey mm-hmm. we we noticed that whenever kylie posts that she's using max whatever lip liner it sells out online immediately why doesn't kylie have her own lip liner well listen the root actually said that in the article um she started the um the line when she struggled for a minute to find something to do on her own mm. that's when um Mom spun the moment into a meeting, meeting, meeting marketing opportunity for the bargaining price of 10% of what she makes as a management fee. See? And then the cosmetic empire was born. See? For the fact that she said, I need something to do. And you can start a makeup line? That's what I'm okay. saying. I'm like, is it, are you really self-made when you have access to resources mm-hmm. that other people have to go out here and borrow loans for mm-hmm. or that, that have access to that where they're unable to pay a full staff to package and, and deliver products out. Mm-hmm. So they're out there doing it themselves. Mm-hmm. What did Super say? Super said that it was for the longest, it was just her and Lou mm-hmm. that were sending out that damn crayon case. It was her and Lou doing uh, no, uh watch my smoke, and watch the, my smoke, uh, black hose shirts, not that stuff. And Lou, remember, he was in the backyard printing them. That's, Lou was in the backyard putting paint all over them damn shirts. That's a, that now that's self made. That's self made. And Supa's definitely a millionaire right now. Yeah, but like I believe that's more self made than like you have these resources, like right. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean that Kylie doesn't deserve to be yeah, celebrated. Because, because she owns 100% of her company, so I'll give her that. She yes. makes smart business decisions, but for, for you to say self-made, it just sounds like she came from nothing as hard as this. And actually, Francesca Ramsey. Oh, Francesca. Um, yeah, she said, mm, being born into extreme wealth and in, uh, instant fame is the exact opposite of self-made. Starting on third base makes it real easy to get a home run. I it, promise. Acknowledging that... That it doesn't take away from the acknowledging that doesn't take away from the person's success or wealth. Exactly. I'll never understand why people at, on this app put out on capes for folks who don't give a fuck about them, but go off, I guess. <laughs> and she said, I apologize for saying Kylie Jenner was born into wealth and fame. I totally ignored the fact that she invested her own $250,000 for modeling jobs she earned after using her reality TV checks to get plastic surgery to get modeling <laughs> jobs and brand endorsements to start her company, Self Made Woman. It's the truth. The lesson here is that if your parents have the connections to shop a reality show that launches when you're 10, hmm. so you're famous from childhood and have very famous siblings, Hello. maybe you two can pull yourself up from your bootstrap and start a company valued at billions. Thank Goals. you. Uh, all of that. And you told me, did you tell me that they make her same her stuff the same place they make Color Pop? Color Pop. Same warehouse. Same warehouse. It's by, uh, I think it's called like Seed or something like that. Same damn warehouse that does Color Pop is doing same Kylie's lip kit. Thing. Same thing. You know, and, and then they have dupes too. They definitely have dupes. <laughs> like the it is so crazy to me. And then like I read something that Kylie has made like nine hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. She'll be a billionaire by next year. Nine hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's like let's not act like Kylie was going to Dollar Tree mm-hmm. and Walmart. And getting items off the clearance rack Mm -hmm. and selling them on an online shop and trying to return on their investment. Let's let's not act like that's what's going on here. Like Francesca said, she used her own $250,000. You got $250,000? Absolutely not. I don't either. Mm -mm. And damn sure ain't got $250,000 to put into a company that I'm unsure of. Okay. Mm. But must be nice. Forbes is definitely getting the heat for it. I mean, I think that they went for the the popularity, which, it, like I said, it doesn't take away from Kylie's success. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that there's some other self-made billionaires out there. Mark Zuckerberg is one. Yeah. He he started from nothing and turned Facebook, Instagram into what it is and something that people use day and night now. Bill Gates. 
like that that makes perfect sense i mean i i guess it's, I guess. it's, it's gonna you know it's gonna get clicks it's gonna yeah get, and kylie's gonna, gonna get people Forbes. to check out when's the last app? time you looked at a Forbes <laughs> magazine? the fourth and never weary it makes sense mm-hmm. it makes sense i'll give them that so yeah, i guess i agree it definitely does make sense i get why they did it mm-hmm. but the word choice mm, a little off just say kylie's a, one of the youngest billionaires yeah just say that yeah and then nobody, we would have been like, yeah, true, that lucky yeah. bitch. Okay, she got that. She, yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> well, all right. I wonder if she's the richest out of the family. Because I, I know mean, Chloe ain't sold no $900 million worth of goddamn jeans. Mm-mm. I would think so. I, you think she's wealthier than Kim? I think so. I think she is, too. Uh, I, I mean... And and short amount of time too. Exactly. Because Kim, that's why Kim is so jealous of her. You think so? Hell yeah, Kim jealous of Kylie because Kylie's young, she's Mm popping. Kim is getting old and tethered. Because you know, well, one of the episodes, um, she was like, "I look to Kylie for my fashion and stuff." Because oh yeah, yeah, she might be. Mm. I guess so. Must be nice. I wish I was a goddamn billionaire. Yeah, she has the highest net worth in her family. Kylie does. Mm-hmm. Who's second, Kim? Um, does it say? Hmm, let's see. She Kim has to be. Um, yeah, hers is worth eighty million thought eighty million dollars. Um, plus her company endorsement from Puma, Pac Sun, and more. Mm. She's on track to break the record held by Mark Zuckerberg, but became a billionaire at age twenty three. Mm. Um, Kylie worked higher than Vixis Kim Kardashian, who was 54th on the list. What? <laughs> with an estimated net worth of $350 million. Chris earned $17 million just from Kylie alone. God damn! <laughs> just from Kylie alone. God damn, bro. bro. You know what? Don't get me wrong. Chris Jenner ain't shit. She's smart. But she's smart, bro. She's smart. That's a, that, you're talking about a pimp. Would you charge your kids, though? When your kids are bringing in that kind of money, yeah. I would just hope they take care of me. Like, I don't think I would ask for like 10%. I mean, I guess I Chris got a lifestyle too. I guess. And I'm pretty sure she'd much rather. But I mean, she's clearly the one negotiating these deals. Yeah. They go through her. They go through her. She's a gatekeeper. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I I see. She probably charges a finder's fee, all kind of shit to them. And I will. And and Chris, like, every time time you see her on the show, it looks like she's working or doing something. Yeah. Checking emails, doing this, doing that. So, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, she's not your average momager, that's for sure. Mm. Especially for her to keep track of all of them. Now, what the hell y'all gonna do with Rob? Okay, we asked Rob. Has well, socks. Where's Rob on the list? Yes. Rob probably net worth probably a hundred grand. Rob has socks. <laughs> let's see how much Rob Kardashian is worth. Has- well, let's take a guess first. I'm gonna say Rob Kardashian is worth one point two mil. I'm gonna say he worth twenty. I'm gonna say he worth twenty. Um, network. <laughs> oh, oh, ten. Oh, <laughs> I'm shocked. So he's, of course, it's lower. But, yeah, you know. shit. I'll, give me ten mil. I'll take it. I will too. I'll take it. I will take one. <laughs> now I ain't gonna short myself. Like, I me mean, ten, ten million me. or nothing. Yeah, or one million or nothing. You ain't gonna take the one. I'll take yeah, the one. I probably try to take the one, try to make some shake yeah, of that one. Yeah, make, make ha, uh, have my own self, <laughs> self-made <laughs> business with the $1 million. Get the fuck out of here. Bruh. But, yeah, so I guess we're going to see. Uh, I, I, we pretty sure Kylie's going to become a billionaire. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's coming. Mm-hmm. So, uh, must be nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, privilege is real. And let's move on to the next topic. Okay. This is going to be real quick. Uh, we don't even really need to do 100 rounds. Okay. But... Cardi B did have the baby. Mm-hmm. Yay, baby. She gave birth on July 10th mm-hmm. to Culture Kiari Cephas. Okay. And, and Culture with Kiari? a K. Yeah, or- I think his name is Kiari. Kiari Cephas. I think that's Offset's name. Culture Kiari Cephas. Yeah. Cephas is the most nigga. <laughs> Cephas. Mm-hmm. Last name. I wonder if Cardi gonna change her last name. The Cardi Cephas? Mm-hmm. CC? Mm. It's a lot going on. I know. Oh, Belcalese. Yeah, Belcalese. Belcalese Cephas. Cephas. Jesus Christ. Almonds. Mm. 
Someone said whenever they saw, uh, whenever they had posted their uh, marriage certificate uh-huh. and it had like Belkalese, blah, 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 uh-huh. and Kiari, blah, blah, blah. Someone was like, I'm scared to say their names. They sound like a chant. <laughs> sound <laughs> like do. a spell. A spell. It do. <laughs> <laughs> Belkalese, Almanzar. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have, you put that channel somebody comes around. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> girl, Bro. it do sound like what? Someone said it sound like a spell. I said, oh, I hate the internet. Wow, these two niggish <laughs> ass names. Very niggish. And Hennessy is Hennessy Carolina. That's like her legit name. I like Hennessy's name. I mean, it fits, bro. If it, it fits because Hennessy is in entertainment, but I mean, if, if Hennessy, do you want to go into your bank and your bank teller's name is Hennessy? <laughs> I mean, the name is a name you didn't choose it. But but how would you? But we, we know if you saw her, you wouldn't be like, now why in the hell would they name this girl Hennessy? <laughs> we know tequilas and cavassiers, and I know a champagne and <sighs> oh, Hennessy is something else, bro. And for Cardi to be like, my dad really like Hennessy. What's that about Jose? <laughs> and <laughs> shut up. <laughs> my dad really like Hennessy, and my mama was pregnant. And she gave birth. And my daddy was drinking a bottle of Hennessy when she was born. He named her Hennessy. Like nigga, what? <laughs> Out of all the names, but that's the reason why culture. I'm just like hmm. culture with the K. Well, you know she a blood. She can't have culture with a C. I don't know how Culture, I feel. I, mean, I think it bothers me because that's the name of one of Offset's albums. She all about Offset. She put the pussy on Offset. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. What else was she going to call her? Anything. I mean. I feel like Cardi tried really hard to be like a celebrity. They gave their child like this like crazy name. name and I, I think she might have missed it with this one. I actually kind of like it. I, I don't. But I like it because Culture don't have to grow up. In these public schools, and she don't have to get a job, so I like it. If your kid doesn't have to do all the shit that us normal folks have to do, give them weird names. But let's not act like culture is coming in like Kylie. Well, she's definitely not coming in like Kylie, but she ain't. <laughs> she ain't gonna have to pick herself up with her bootstraps either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna have to pick herself up with her bootstraps, but she probably gonna have to rap or sing. No. Probably at culture. She'll probably have to do something in entertainment. I don't think so. She she has enough being Cardi's daughter. I don't know how much weight that's going to hold in 30 years. Well, maybe not 30 years, but she got a good little start. in 15. She got a good little start. I don't know. Because, you know, I was like, whenever I first heard Blue Ivy, I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Mm-hmm. Whenever I first heard North, I was like, oh, I really like the name North. Mm-hmm. Whenever I first heard Saint, I was like, oh, that's cute. In Chicago? I don't like Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but... I heard culture and I said, no, nah, fam, no, nah, that ain't it. Mm-mm. I actually like culture. I just <sighs> hate that she couldn't spell it with a C because she had blood. <laughs> I got But she didn't change Cephas. Hello. <laughs> I guess she's like, man, that's already there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a lineage. That's a lineage. <sighs> you see that video of that woman uh, acting like Cardi B giving birth? No. It is, it's a white girl. She's like, ew, the baby hair, ew. No. Girl, that is the funniest video. It's just like, baby show cute. Like, just, <laughs> I was like, fuck, that seems so accurate. Bruh, I cannot lie. What gave me life while Cardi was pregnant uh-huh. was her Instagram story. What? When she would post them gifts that people would send her, and she'd be like, ow, ow, <laughs> thank you. You didn't send whoever sent this. You didn't include your name, but it's so soft and pretty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Girl. She's her petting the, the blankets. And, ow, oh, this, it's going to go so cute in my baby room. And Cardi received about 15 strollers. Girl. I mean, top of the line strollers, and Cardi got about 15 of them. Girl, what? what? Girl, I like them new Cardi memes, though, with her little girl. Oh, my and God. And one was like... Uh, she like she, like she uh, one of them kids that bite. Uh, yeah, or <laughs> the one, um, like, t- uh, kids five and under are free. And she's like, I'm six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a part of the video. The woman... Uh, hold on. Oh, damn, not to like this many early I really can. Like, shorty got a big head like, She sounds just like Cardi. Keep reading. 
coming out. <laughs> I'm never going to make another human in here again. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sound just like Cardi. Let me see her. Bro, she sound just it's like girl. Cardi. Girl. I'm never going to put another human in here again. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> she sounds just like Cardi. Girl, yes. He's, Cardi, you know what? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Bro, Cardi's Instagram story was so fucking funny. Oh, when she showed all them puppies? Yeah. And she be like, oh, look, 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 little puppy. Oh, look, a little puppy over there. Look, 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 grandma, grandpa. And then she showed her an offset. I'm like, Cardi. <laughs> Girl, Bruh. they were she was like, they, the puppy literally sucked the life out of her. <laughs> She's so tired. I have to break them apart because she she literally sucked the life out of her. You are so tired. What the dog's name? It's not, it's some real niggers. I can't even they, remember. Su- they sucked out of life out of her. Is this what I'm gonna have to go through when the baby sucked the life out of me? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love it. I I'm love all this. Lie. I love Cardi all this. Cardi is shit. funny as fuck. It is. She is so goddamn Side funny. Side note: Did you see where Lee Daniel said he discovered Cardi? I know you fucking lying. Okay. And and he posted receipts. So he had been following her for a while on social media. Hmm. And she came in an interview for uh, the show Star. And obviously didn't get the role. But he passed along to Mona Scott and told her about him. Are told you serious? About, so, but, I mean, not really started. But like getting every, where everybody else know, know Cardi. Right. So, yeah. Huh. Lee Daniels. But you need to pay. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say. So where. Pay where Dame is, his money. Where is Dame his funds? It's my money. I wonder money if Dame has I, gotten his money by now. Hell no. Nah, they they, he's doing him. Plus interest. <laughs> hell no nah, Dame ain't got no I don't money. fucking blame him. Nigga you finna pay me plus some. Um, the mm, fuck? Okay. Cause I, you, I didn't. You it's didn't my money and I, I want, want it now. now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, welcome culture. Yeah. Welcome culture. Count down uh, the baby pics. I think it's going to be a minute before we see picture of culture. You think so? Yeah, because I feel like Cardi. Cardi don't, share everything else. I, I feel like we're gonna see the baby soon. I feel like mm, she didn't share. She was married. I feel mm. like she probably wants to hold on to that for a little while. So I think it's gonna be a little bit before you see pictures of culture, unless one of Offset's ghetto ass homeboys take a picture or something like that. I just feel like we're not gonna see like a professional picture of culture for a minute. Yeah, nah. It, it, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be sooner than we think. Now we're gonna see culture today, tomorrow, next week, probably mm-hmm. not. But. Cardi gonna show us her feet or something, and then before you yeah. know, her, yeah, was, uh, her hair. Girl, or, I will yeah. never forget uh, G Herbo <laughs> when his girlfriend had her baby. Uh-huh. She didn't show the baby for months. Uh-huh. Like I think she may have had the baby like April, mm-hmm. May. Sometimes she mm-hmm. just started showing the baby face. Hmm. So people would be like, well, "Is there something wrong with you know black people? <laughs> you don't show your baby face, something they automatically wrong. think, oh, mm-hmm. the baby must have a cleft lip mm-hmm. or something wrong with the baby. Mm-hmm. Eyes too far apart." G Herbo girlfriend is so goddamn ghetto. She going to say, y'all stop asking to see my motherfucking baby. If you want to have a baby, if you want to see a baby, go have your own motherfucking <laughs> ugly ass baby and show that little ugly fucker. Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's like, and when you have your baby, guess who won't give a fuck about that baby? <laughs> Me. Me. <laughs> but you know what? I kind of feel like after I had Gucci, I didn't want her immediately on. You know what I'm saying? What difference does it make? Because, like, she got the rest of her life to be on there. I, I want the people who were there for me to see her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always fake people. Like, people love babies. So they're like, oh, your baby's so cute. But, like, you didn't ask me how I was doing during my pregnancy. Mm-hmm. You sure as hell didn't come to my baby shower. So, yeah, y'all going to have to wait to see these pictures for a little bit. Because I want to experience her with the family and the people that were really there for me. I think we think that more people are pressed to see your baby than they really are. <laughs> people are pressed to see your baby. But I don't think it's as many as you think. People are pressed. Because, I, I mean, even if you don't show your baby, people are like, what's wrong with the baby? Like, people will ask. If you don't show me your baby, I'd be like. You, because you're different. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, okay, so-and-so had a baby. Oh, okay, that's cool. You're different. It's a, it's I, don't, a, I don't have an urge to see other people's kids. Yeah. I mean, I get that from you. But a lot mm. of people are like want to like, see. Like I'm not pressed to see Rumi and Sir at all. And there are people who are like literally counting down and waiting. I could but care I'm saying, less. <laughs> I'm saying people generally want to see babies and like, like who really hates on a baby? You know what I'm saying? Like you can hate on a lot of other pictures, but like who really just like, even if the baby, other people are like, oh, him so cute. Like right. people are still going to lie and say that. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Or say, oh, let me keep him knowing they ain't going to ever watch that baby. <laughs> ain't knowing they ain't going to ask. <laughs> okay. But just like. I bring like, him to me. Okay. Bring him, bring, bring him her. Okay. 
I'd never bring my kid to somebody who told me to bring, bring him, him here. here. Bring him her on the internet. <laughs> the fuck? I'm going to post that when you have a baby. <laughs> bring on her. Bring on her. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe, yeah. Because whenever I was like, oh, culture, it's not, I wouldn't immediately like, I wonder what the baby looked like. I wonder, I, I really don't care what the baby looked like. Yeah. As, as long as I, I pray that Cardi had a healthy baby, which mm-hmm. it sounds like she did. And mm-hmm. I pray your baby's a great member of society mm-hmm. and isn't a menace mm-hmm. and doesn't turn out to be like Tommy off of Love and Hip Hop or something oh, crazy. Lord. And, you know, that's... All we can hope for. Yeah, I ain't stunning how the baby look. Okay. But I'm pretty sure we'll see a picture eventually. All so. right. But that's all I got in this week with the shits, my man. Should I do Let's Argue? <sighs> Or you think we should do questions? I think we should, for our one year, Yeah, we should do questions. Yeah. And we can pick up next, because how far are we in? 50 minutes. Okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, let's pick up with that next week. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a f- ask a few questions of each other. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So do you want to get started or you want me to start? What's your favorite inside joke from us being friends? Um, my favorite inside joke. <laughs> uh, I really like whenever we say "Hello, Governor" to each other. <laughs> it's been a long time. Where did that come from? I don't even know where it came from. Or uh, whenever um, we went to the movies and you were like, "I can't see," <laughs> and then that man with that patch on turn his around. eye turned around. <laughs> That shit was funny. Wow. Yeah. But I really like whenever I really like, hello, governor. <laughs> We've been saying that for a minute. I don't even know where it came from. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's one of my favorites. Okay. All right. Um, let me see here. What's your favorite way to be seduced? Oh. Oh, you starting off. See, and last time I was on an extra spectrum and you was like, oh, I know was asking them questions because I, I got some vanilla. Uh, okay. okay, I can do a no, different no, question. No, it's fine. I'll answer it because, you know, I give not none. Um, <laughs> the favorite way to be seduced? hmm My neck. Ooh, all you ladies pop your pussy <laughs> like this. Shake your body, don't oh, stop. My neck. I was like, where did that come from? Yeah, my neck or like light kisses like on my shoulder, my back. Like that just turns me on. Mm. But my my neck and my ear, really? Yeah, I don't really like. Is it like a certain part of the ear, or is it the whole ear? Uh, the earlobe, or like if you whisper in my ear, is that is that kind of? I'm a fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) What if a nigga whispering? I'm a fuck the shit out of you. (laughs) What if a nigga? Yo, booty stink. Is that, a, is that not a fear though? Oh, is it? That's why. That's why you gotta buy a good tissue. Yeah, no, that's why you gotta wear use a baby wipe, bro. Baby wipes don't tear up. <laughs> baby wipes baby don't wipes leave don't residue. Tear, but also, good tissue don't either. Sometimes some of that too soft tissue be crumbling up inside. It, it you. leaves. It leaves little uh lint. little dingleberries. <laughs> not dingleberries. <laughs> it, le- it leaves lint a little bit, but it don't leave. It don't like that that. Fool, when you when you had that that rough cheap tissue, you pull it out and had the tissue missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not and your hand in the middle of the tissue. Yeah, you, you see your hand. You, you, at first, when you when you bought a tissue up, you could not see your hand, and now you wiped and, and pee pee on your hand. <laughs> yes, that's a fear. That's a fear, Bruh. That's a fear. Can you imagine a nigga find some tissue? Jesus Christ! I feel like a real nigga. What would you do? I mean, it happens. I don't. I don't, let me check you. Okay. <laughs> Spread their booty cheeks. Okay. Girl, you gotta find some doodoo in there. <laughs> you know, niggas don't wipe good. Doodoo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, bruh. That's actually terrible. <laughs> your booty stuff. <laughs> That, that's what you want a nigga to um to whisper in your ear. I still smell your spit when you kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> your breath stink. Did you brush your teeth? <laughs> you got black on your teeth. 
<laughs> Girl. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm telling you. My turn. Oh, man. <laughs> um, what's the weirdest thing you eat? <sighs> Let me think. <laughs> the weirdest thing I eat. Well, something that whenever I mention it to people, they'd be like, ew. I really like pickled okra. Mm, that's, I, have, I think that's a southern thing. I really like pickled okra, but every time I mention it to people, they're like, ew, that is so nasty. Really? Yes. They're like, ew. Wow. Like Gucci. I mean, OJ love it. She like pickles. I feel like people who like pickles will like pickled okra. But there's a lot of people who like pickles who don't like pickled okra. They like they don't like the texture. Oh of it. yeah, I could get that. But the craziest thing is that I don't like okra. Mm. But I like pickled okra. That's very. So when you're eating gumbo, do you take the okra out? No, I don't take the okra out. But so you don't eat okra soup? No, I really mm. I, I don't. Okra soup is too slimy for me, and that's why I don't like okra. Mm, okra slimy. is slimy, mm. and like whenever you try to like pick it up, and I don't like I don't like fried okra. Oh, fried okra is so good. I, I I can't get jiggy with it, but I do like pickled okra. That's one thing. Whenever I do eat it, people be like, "Ew, that's weird." Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I eat that's kind of strange. No, yeah, I would have to probably say pickled okra. Everything else I eat is pretty normal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So let me see. Let me let me look for a question to you. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> What embarrasses you the most in front of other people? Um, like what? When I'm out or anything? Well, my kids are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such a bad mom when they're like... For real? Yes. I mean, I know kids are kids, but like even when we're out and they... OJ used to have it really bad where she would like just say the wrong things at like just random times. Like one time I had boo-booed in the bathroom <laughs> and she like came in and smelled and threw up. She's like, <laughs> and threw up. <laughs> yes. I, don't, I, don't ask me. But then we were somewhere else and I don't know what happened, but she was like, yeah, my mama boo-boo stank so bad. I threw up. Like said it loud. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, girl, stop lying. <laughs> okay. I had to call her a liar. I do remember that one time whenever OJ was like, uh, I said something like, oh, Brittany, I said, but your hair is cute. And she was like, it's a wig. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, now, OJ, you ain't got to tell everybody yes. that. Yes. Or she just like, she just says like, the first thing that come to her mind, I remember like, you know, everybody know OJ and Gucci, well, OJ, OJ's dad is in prison and we were at Babes. And the owners were talking to her, and I was like, "Oh, you know, she might get a, you know, be a, you know, she's a bubbly kid, you right? Want to do something with her." And he's like, "Yeah, and my daddy in jail, and he got Chicken Day on Tuesday." I'm like, <laughs> "All right, well, it was nice meeting you guys." Like, I couldn't even like fix that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I think when my kids are terrible, and it, when Gucci, when was a, uh, chick, what was that chicken mm, raising canes? Oh, bruh, she was on. <laughs> she was on twelve. That's when we gave her some Coke Zero, and was gone. Girl, <laughs> she started running laps <laughs> around the restaurant. And oh, Lord, I think that's really embarrasses me. Like my kids, because I be feel like people judge you on your, and they do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like people do. judge you on your kids. Like, and, oh, she can't get control. Yeah, now. and so just like when they be just acting like banshees, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'll be ready to go. All right, guys, time hey, to pack up. Go. You know what I'm saying? And I know my kids aren't terrible, but it's like, it just really embarrasses me. Oh, damn, Gucci. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no, well, I'm not going to say, OJ not terrible. Yeah, but she's older now. The other one. <laughs> We're still. Ooh, now that damn Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Because she is something else. She's very stubborn. She's very headstrong. I can't even beat her into submission. Because I'm like, you want me to whoop you? No. Well, move. No. no. All right. Well, <laughs> Bro, I know one thing. Anytime I would have said no to Priscilla. <laughs> I feel like she's still too young for me to punch her right now. Nah, she's too young for you to punch her. But she ain't ever too young for a beating. <laughs> she gets popped. But <laughs> that, they do nothing for her. Like, 
I had to maybe you need to whoop her until like snot is running out of her nose. I had to give her a whoop and she'll remember. <laughs> I had to literally be walking towards her with an item in my hand for her to like have to get right about it. And then she still moves slow. Like she still she gonna she gonna do what she wanna do regardless. Oh, see, maybe you need to stop walking towards her. And, and running towards and her. Run. <laughs> Girl, even I, when, when OJ, if I mentioned whooping, she started crying. But they, they two di- totally different kids. They two totally different kids. I didn't have to really whoop OJ. You know what I'm saying? Gucci, I got to be her, beat her into bed like four or five times. Like she get out, put her back in there, get another whooping. She get right back out. Turn on all the goddamn lights on. <laughs> all right. Like I'm just, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. That's a kid that don't care. And to not care too. <laughs> she imagine... 16. No, because then I can fight her then. 12. I can fight her then. Yeah, but then. I'll fight her at 8. Nah, you don't want to fight her. Just whoop her, bro. No, I will. She not going to fight back. Just whoop her. Bro, I'm not going to. You don't want to be like, my mama fought me I'm as a whoop, child. I'm not going to whoop no 12 year old. Shit. I'm like, that's too old to be getting whoopings. You know, Shit. you know, at 12. I don't, I don't feel like. I, the, I got my last whooping as an adult. Hmm? Yes. Cause Priscilla, Priscilla didn't play that. Priscilla, Priscilla didn't play no back talk. How old were you? I was probably eighteen or nineteen. And what? It wasn't a whooping though. She definitely hit me. That's different. No, hitting is different. Whooping. No, are... a belt was involved, uh-huh. and she hit you more than once. And hit me more than once. Oh, it was wasn't no that slap. That was a whooping. Yeah. It wasn't no slap. It wasn't no. She punched me. Yeah. Nah, my mama whooped me. That was a whooping. Yes, my mama whooped me. And that's the one time that I was like, oh, I want to hit you back so bad, but I can't because you're my mama. <laughs> but hell yeah. What? So you're over here talking about 12 too old. Shit. You're never too old for a whooping. I mean, at that time, I feel like it ain't, I, I don't need to be exerting all that energy. I might just slap you or something. Like, I don't feel like I just need to be beating on you at 12 years old. I think I'd rather whoop my kid than slap him. Or pop or something. Pop you in the mouth or something. Yeah. Maybe not slapping. Slapping is a little disrespectful. Yeah, slapping. <laughs> yeah, slapping is like you don't went too far. Put my hand all the way back down. <laughs> Come back across. Where's the baby powder? <laughs> when Eddie be doing that dance, we go down low. <laughs> okay. We go all the way down it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> What's that dance called? Uh, shaki shaki or something uh, like that. I just feel like that's maybe maybe that is but pop in the mouth. Anybody getting popped in the mouth? Yeah. Yeah, mm. I think I would still whoop my kid because I'm telling you, my greatest fear would be like whenever we be in a car, my mom be like, "Okay, you know, whenever we get to the house, to go to the room, take your pants off, and lay across the bed." Mm-hmm. That gave me the most anxiety. Like I'd be like, "Okay, <laughs> we two lights away from the house. Okay, no, we pulling up into the garage. Okay, and I have to prep myself before I take my seatbelt off. Like, okay." <sighs> I know when I go in here, I'm about to get a whoop. Like, bro, that, that shit really. It's anxiety. Yes. Mine is like when riding right in the car with my dad, like he was so volatile. Like if I say, like he would reach back and just slap the fuck out of me. So like getting in, a, like, getting in the car with him, with him now still gives me PTSD. Like if he's riding in the passenger seat, I'm just like, okay, your arms at 10 and 2. <laughs> Check to make sure the Girl, window. shut up. Like that, like he teach, taught me how to drive and that was the worst. Wow. And I just got comfortable where I can drive him around because I'm still like, okay, the radio's down, my phone's in my pocket, okay, just looking around. And I, it, it was the worst. So, like, getting popped is my thing. Because, like, they stopped whooping me, I think, like, when I was in high school. But it was other forms of punishment. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> standing in, <laughs> in a corner for two, three hours and... <sighs> Oh, that shit. It was other forms. So And see, that's the type of shit that fuck with you. And that's the yeah. type of shit that'll have you like, okay, you know what? I know if I do this, yeah. I'm gonna fuck around and have to sit on my knees. Mm-hmm. On some rice. Oh. <laughs> you know what Sarah said on some rice? Bruh. Whenever I heard that, I said, Wow, now I de- now that's definitely some African punishment, but I ain't never <laughs> had the rice up under my knees. But like whoopings used to give me anxiety. Like, mm-hmm. knowing that I was going to have to get a whooping, and I can't lie to you, like, whenever my mom or my dad would whoop me, mm-hmm. they would be like, I'm so disappointed in you. That hurt worse. And that hurt worse. And so that's why, like, disappointing my parents was, yeah. like, one of my greatest fears. Because I was like, <laughs> well, if I go out here and I fuck myself up, mm-hmm. then they're going to look back and be like, oh, well, Frank and Priscilla didn't do this. Yeah. Or Frank and Priscilla didn't do that. Well, you know what? 
it wasn't the whoopings that really like I was whoopings. Yeah, were tough. But my thing was my grandma would make me hug her afterwards and say I love you. Oh, bro, do you know how hard it is when you and you, you mad as yeah. fuck and you don't curse her out in your head? Yeah, now give me a hug. I love you. Say it louder. I love you. <laughs> Say it nicer. I love you. But you hear about people doing that with their kids, like whenever their kids argue, being like, yeah. "Okay, now hug, hug each other," or being being a shirt, <laughs> <laughs> getting a sibling shirt. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah. Wow. All right. When was the first time you had alcohol? No, better question because you could have been young. When was the first time you smoked weed? Oh, hot. <laughs> Smoke dope. <laughs> Smoke dope, don't you? <laughs> um, graduation night, whenever we graduated mm-hmm. from high school, mm-hmm. I was with you mm-hmm. and a few, uh, it was a few other no good niggas there. Mm-hmm. Actually, one of the niggas our first episode was about. Yep. Fuck boy. Ha- Fuck boy was happy there. anniversary. <laughs> and we smoked. Mm-hmm. And I don't even think I really hit it right. I definitely know I didn't because I was like, what's the big deal? Yeah. I was like, I don't feel anything. I'm definitely not high. But everybody else over there. <laughs> okay. Up out of the bitch. And it's like, this weed must be really dirt because I don't feel it. Or I must have a, I have an immunity to okay. it because I'm definitely not high. Like, y'all, I don't feel No, anything. you definitely were high. Was I? You definitely were high because you was like, oh, I wonder if I go home as my mama going home. Bank, you, you, see, you see where it went back That's to? That's what I'm saying. Embarrassment. You were high and you were just like, bruh, how am I going to go home? My mama going to Let me tell you something, bruh. Like, even whenever I was still smoking as an adult, it never <laughs> failed. Every time I smoked uh-huh. and got high, my mama would call me. Mm. And the, I would be high. <laughs> I'd be over there on cloud 12 with Lil Wayne. <laughs> and I see my phone ring. And I'm like, oh, I can't call her back. I'd be like, hey, mama. <laughs> And I'd be wondering, like, does she, does she know? know? I'm like, like, does she know I'm high right now? I'd be like, she'd be like, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just chilling. Oh, okay. Why you sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, I was just checking on you. All right then. Never failed. Every, Every time. single. So it got to a point mm-hmm. whenever people be like trying to pass the blunt to me, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, nah, fam. My mama gonna call me. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I don't even want to smoke right now. So whenever I would smoke, it would be like real late at night whenever I know she, she was asleep. I remember talking to my grandma high and she was like, why are you talking so much? You don't ever talk this much. And I was like, oh, grandma, I just, I just love talking to you. Girl. You're like, you, you talking and laughing? You are, you got you took some medicine? <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. You're like, why are your eyes so red? Girl, I was on the phone with her. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely think if I showed up out of my parents' house, they would definitely know. Oh, girl, and they will be on your ass. Yeah, like, um, did you smoke? Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly and truthfully, but after all that shit, your daddy pulled out. <laughs> he he probably smoked with you now. Mm-hmm. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> probably. He probably smoked something with you now. <clears throat> <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah, my daddy pulled out a pipe. Or a vape. Yeah, he pulled out a vape. And, and he had the what oil? CBD oil. CBD oil. Yeah. Which is like weed without the THC, right? Pretty much. It relaxes you. That's why we smoke weed. Oh, okay. <laughs> it relaxes you. Yeah, all right. And then he's like, well, here, y'all can try it. And we over there. I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, mm, that hit the spot. Cruising mm. down the street. <laughs> 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 all right <laughs> okay uh so let's see mm. what food will you absolutely not under any circumstances eat chitlins doesn't matter what doesn't matter who chitlins. cooked them chit how clean they wings. are chitterlings you won't fuck with them no that are pig feet the pig feet yeah I thought chitlins was the intestines. That or pig feet. I'm not eating oh, either one. Oh, I thought one. you said uh, chitlins or pig feet. Oh, Mm-mm. so you won't eat pig feet. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Like, it's just the, with, the, with chitlins, like, the texture for one, 
the smell for another. Mm -hmm. I know where it comes from. I know what was in it. The fact that you have to clean chitlins for 16 hours before you can prop before you can even cook them. Then that means you're not supposed to be eating that shit. I mean, that's what it mean to me. That's what it sound like. <laughs> and you gotta my grandma was trying to teach me how to like clean them and stuff. And you, you gotta pull the sometimes they have grass still in it. And, oh and a chitlin with a booty hole still attached. I'm oh, like, oh my god. <laughs> you eat chitlins though, don't you? Hell no. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't eat chitlins. I don't eat gizzards. I don't eat none of that shit. Fuck out of here. I could do some I, gizzards, but it's been a long time. But mm -mm. I was gonna say spaghetti. But I mean, I might eat spaghetti depending on how hungry I am. Like mm -mm. It's on, it's, it's on, underneath some chicken parmesan, I may do that. But <laughs> like, I will no under no circumstances eat chitlins. That is disgust. Ho hog maws. Oh, and girl. Neck bones. I do not participate in. Child. The mm. ghetto. The ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Have you ever fought in public? And if so, what was the reason? Have I ever fought in public? And if so, what was the reason? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. When I was in college, this girl was like messing with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I I didn't. Because I knew she, I knew that she had messed with him or whatever. So mm -hmm. I didn't fight her over the boyfriend. It probably mm -hmm. seemed that way. Mm -hmm. But if I had wanted to fight her over the boyfriend, then I would have fought her before. Mm -hmm. But we were in this club and she came up to me and started like dancing on me. On you? On me. Oh, that bitch is perfect. That's what, exactly. And so I pushed her and I was like, you already know that I don't like you. Like, why would you do that? Wow. And so she started laughing. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay. I got your ass. Mm -hmm. So, you know, stayed until the club closed. Mm -hmm. Waited outside. <laughs> that bitch walked through that door. I hit her over the head. <laughs> With what? I hit that bitch in the head so damn quick. Damn. And then her and I started fighting. And then one of her friends tried to, like, pull us apart or something. Mm -hmm. So the girl took off running. Mm. So she ran to the car. She jumped in the car. Mm -hmm. And she ran to the back seat. Mm. So... <laughs> she didn't even start the car. Oh yeah, the, no. Oh, the car went. She, somebody had unlocked oh. it and she ran into it. <laughs> so friends of four, I guess. Uh, right. And so she locked the back door where she was. Mm -hmm. So I tried to open up the back door and it was locked. Mm -hmm. So I checked the front door. Mm -hmm. That bitch opened. Mm -hmm. I jumped inside the car. Not she was fighting inside the car. Bruh, fought this hoe <laughs> from the front seat. Wow. I was in the front seat. Boop 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 boop. boop. <laughs> Where's your boyfriend? I don't know. He wasn't there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wasn't there. Who's with you? Ebony <laughs> and somebody else. But Ebony already knows once I get to that level, she really can't handle me. Yeah. So I I, I understand Ebony. Just <laughs> make sure nobody don't shoot me or do nothing crazy yeah. like that. <laughs> that's, that's all I can ask for. <laughs> all I can ask is for somebody. Ain't you nobody jump in? <laughs> Yeah. To be honest, I, I don't see Ebony like participating in that shit like that. <laughs> yeah, no, Ebony's not gonna participate. Like I feel like if you got jump, Ebony would be like, I don't even know why you dumbass up there fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just like, just make sure like somebody pull out a gun. You like ten? There's a gun. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Something. But I'm hitting her from the front seat. And then all of a sudden, somebody pulls me by my legs <laughs> and pulls me out of the car. Really? Yes. <laughs> I had on heels and everything. Oh, and shit. by the night, by the time everything was over, I only had one shoe on. Damn. I don't know what happened. But oh. I definitely beat the shit out of that girl. <laughs> and then her and I fought again. And I wore her ass Was out. That, that's the one on, you went to her room, right? Oh, no. That was another one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that was that, that now the one I went to her room, that's the one that almost got me kicked out of school. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. And she gonna tell the police, she dislocated my shoulder. <laughs> I said, officer, that girl drove her ass to my apartment afterwards <gasps> to try to fight me again. Okay. How dislocated was her shoulder? If, she, if, if my my apartment was the next destination instead of the <laughs> <Okay>. hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you go there first? Like you decided to make a pit stop in okay. my place to try to get your other shoulder dislocated. <laughs> the wind blew me to your house. <laughs> did she go to pick up your your ex? Girl, sure did. Girl, these niggas Girl, disrespectful, bruh. Like really, honestly and truthfully, it's nothing but the grace of God that I'm not in jail. Because if I would have had a gun back then, Whoa. I probably would have shot them all. <laughs> allegedly, <I'm> not, allegedly. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Like, wow. Because my, my, my attitude used to be on a different level, but now I'm a different person. And now I'd be like, Praise that's God. the reason why now I'd be like, look, I don't have time. Praise God. 
I don't have time because it could get to that level and then we're going to have a problem and mm-hmm. then you're going to swear I done did you wrong. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Blessings. Oh, Lord. Um. Okay, so here's my question for you. Okay. Has anything or anyone ever saved your life? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyone or anything? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I've ever just been in... No, li- no near-death experiences? I'm trying to think. If I did, I blocked them out. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, too traumatic? Yeah. I don't... Mm, I don't recall. Like, I don't think so. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> so, I had bought <laughs> this car from an African guy. Mm-hmm. I took my daddy with him, but my dad don't know nothing about cars. <laughs> and so he's like, well, it's like a pretty good car. And we rode the, the car around, right? And I was like, okay, I'm, t- I'm just going to take it. So I took the car. And later on, I found out that the car was like in a total wreck. Like mm. it was totaled. And it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be sold. And so. So it had been a salvage vehicle? Yeah, it had been salvaged. So we were, me and Morgan were going, um. We going? Oh, we were going to Arlington to try on bridesmaids' dresses, and coming back, I hit a possum. No, wasn't that a different vehicle? Yeah, was it? It was. Yeah, because you were in the Malibu. What happened with the Malibu? I just remember the Malibu, the seatbelt. <laughs> yeah, the seatbelt kept coming out and wouldn't lock in place. <laughs> My car would never pass ins- inspection. Because of the new seatbelt. I can't think of what happened with the Malibu. Something happened with it, but it was a blessing that that happened because when I took the car in, you know, the guy was like, you know, this car ain't had no, um, it don't have no, nothing holding your motor in place. Okay. That's what it was. So something them happened with the Malibu and I got the Toyota Camry uh-huh. and I hit that possum and that possum tore my car up. Yeah. But the man was like, you know, if you had been in that um, Malibu, when you hit that possum, y'all would have died because you didn't have no bottom to that car. And you know what I'm saying? Like the pro the, when, on the Malibu, like the hood was shake. <laughs> <laughs> there was literally nothing holding that motor in place, and so the motor just jiggling. Yeah, it all so over it would have it would have come up and come back. Oh wow! So yeah, like, and I hit that possum. Like, I didn't have that car long. I hit that possum, and it fucked my car. Bruh, up. When you I hit that possum, in. I said, "Why in the hell would you hit a possum?" <laughs> the alternative was hitting a car, and I thought, okay, if I hit a car, you know what I'm saying. I'm liable. Like, I, to me, it just seemed, it, it made more sense to hit a possum. I'm like, <laughs> I'm probably going to hit a possum and roll over. Girl, that possum went under my car. Five miles later, my car stopped. Oil was leaking. I had to get a new AC, Everything. new alternator, new, new motor. Basically, I paid for a new car. And it never was the same again. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But if I hadn't, if I had, it was my old car, we would have died. Bruh. Praise God, bro. Praise him. Because, oh, Lord. Who ain't got time to die? <gasps> it's me. <laughs> For real. Who ain't got time? <laughs> uh, let me see what my question said. Um, let's see. Have you ever had a one night stand with a stranger? Mm. <laughs> yes. Details. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember where I met this dude. I can't remember where I met him. You remember who he was though? I remember his face, mm-hmm. but I don't remember him. Or his name or nothing? Yeah, I don't remember his name or anything. Well, you don't have to. You don't even remember where you met him? I'm trying to think. I met. I think I met him out. I think I met him at a strip club. Mm-hmm. I don't know why a strip club is coming to me, but mm-hmm. I think that may have been where I met him. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, like I met him. I didn't sleep with him the same night that I met him. Mm-hmm. But we like talked for like maybe a few days Mm -hmm. and then he came over. Mm -hmm. That happened. Mm -hmm. And then it was like just absolutely garbage. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to like text me and I just never responded to him. That's not considered like a. I don't think that's the same. I mean, I only only slept with him one time. Yeah, but he wanted like a. Like you at least knew stuff about him. I didn't know much because I don't remember him. He said it wasn't much. I remember he uh I remember he drove a Benz. Mm. I remember that much. Mm. I remember seeing him pull up to the in the Benz in my apartment. And I was like, oh, so, okay, you got a good car. This, to me, this is a one night stand. I'm just gonna tell my story. Oh, well, go ahead then. Everybody get your one night stand <laughs> get your on. Ho- get your hoe on. <laughs> so it was me, 
my both of my ex, both of my roommates mm-hmm. and who else and her cousin as a guy mm-hmm. and we went over so my roommate had this guy friend and we all went over his house mm-hmm. and I admit that I just met this dude his name was all I know his name was Moody and mm. we called him Moody Coliseum I don't know why it's that a Coliseum like a somewhere yeah it's, 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 it's called Moody Coliseum so everybody called they called him Moody and like she <laughs> <sounds so sad. laughs> so she was in the bed with her friend mm-hmm. and my other roommate was in the other room with that friend. And you and I was on the Moody. couch. With Moody. Yes. And at first I was just like, I mean, everybody in the house was having sex. And I was just like, so what's your name? He's like, you're, just, <laughs> you're so pretty. And you know, all this other shit. And just like, and it happened on the couch. <laughs> in the room with my. <laughs> in the room with your what? My roommate and her dude. Oh, y'all were in the same room. <laughs> yes. Well, damn. <laughs> and like, then she was like, I didn't have sex with him. I was like, bitch, I saw the blonde shaking. Like, y'all weren't kissing. Wow. Wow. Should I cut this out? <laughs> no. Like, it, it happened. Uh, you know so, what? And that's, that's to me, a, a one night stand. stand. Yeah, because I never. To me, a one night stand is if I slept with you one What's time it? and then I'm like, because usually even I've given niggas like a second chance, a third chance. But that nigga there, I don't know. Mm. It was something just, something about him didn't vibe with my spirit or my pH. <laughs> and I was just like, nah, I'm That cool. sounds about right. That, 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 could, that sounds accurate. I was like, nah, I'm cool on him. Mm-hmm. And he was a little older too, if I'm not mistaken. I think I was like maybe... I was probably like 24, mm-hmm. 25, somewhere around there. And then he was in his 30s. You're just stinking ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Girl. Mm. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye, so. Lance. Yeah. That's what that was. Okay. The fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Are you proud of what you're doing with your heart and time right now? Uh, I think so. With like... What I'm working on and all that stuff. Just anything. I think so. My job brings me a lot of satisfaction and gratitude. And Aww. I love what I'm... I actually, this is like the first time in a long time that I love what I'm doing. Aww. Um, And I feel like what I'm going into is what I'm really passionate about. So I'm really excited about that. So I, I think so. Hmm. I don't really know how to answer. That's not like a pageant question. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I think I thought so. that was a good question. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm real passionate about black women. I'm real passionate about childbirth. I'm real mm. passionate about black people. So I think I just realized too that I'll be able to give exams to men. Like I'll be able to do like Aww. their you know wellness checks and stuff like that too. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, I really good. am. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I really am. Um, let's see. If you had to, ch- if you could change your name today, what name would you choose? If I could change my name today. Mm-hmm. <sighs> For the longest, I wanted to be named Jessica. I don't know why. I don't either. (laughs) And I was like, oh, and then I can go by (laughs) Jesse. And then. (laughs) Not even Jess. (laughs) Jesse. And then for the longest, I wanted to be named Taylor. And then I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good on Taylor. Mm -hmm. Honestly, right here, right now, being the age that I am, I don't know if I could change it. It's grown on you? Yeah, it's grown on me. I used to hate my name mm. because I was just like, oh, there's nobody named Tana. <laughs> and, you know, it really sucks whenever you try to go to those places to, like, get the little, mm-hmm. uh, the little license plate or mm-hmm. the keychains with the names. And you know they're not going to have yours. Mm-hmm. And the closest thing you can get to your name is Hannah. And that's still just not the same. <laughs> but, I mean... I don't know about changing my name, but mm-hmm. you know, I like the like eclectic names, like mm-hmm. the little different name. I really like the name Kennedy. Mm-hmm. I like the name Niall. You know, I have a whole baby names yeah, list. Yeah, um, yeah, I like Ever. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I don't. I wouldn't change my name. I don't think I would. Okay. So. Fair enough. That's actually not a bad question. Okay, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Oh, Lord. It's about to get freaky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have a go-to masturbation fantasy? 
to be honest. Let's get it. I don't even think about nothing when I masturbate. For real? I don't. Why? First of all, because I use that toy and I come in like 20 seconds. So I don't even have time to think about nothing. What? Mm -mm. So you don't even try to get yourself in the mood first? No. Mm -mm. So you just like a nigga just going to (laughs) spit and and get to it. I don't. I may have been turned on my stuff and masturbated, but I've never like had to think about something to like masturbate. Oh, wow. Not ever. You're shorting yourself. I just, you know, I'm, I'm very blunt to the point. I just want to get in there and get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I mean, I may watch a porno or something, but I'm not visually thinking about anything when mm. I, mm-mm. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that, that, that toy don't play. But, uh, uh <laughs> That's that toy don't play. When was the last time you masturbated? Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Because <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it's just been a bit. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, it's been a minute. Because, and then like... Or, the, it's too hard. Have you ever been caught? I did get caught one time. Who caught you? I got caught a long time ago by a roommate. My roommate, uh, what was her name? Is the white girl? Yeah, the white girl. <gasps> she caught you? Yeah, because remember, we were in a dorm that was like Their bed right two there. beds yeah. in the wall. And she walked in one time. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. And she just closed the door. Wait, you, well, hold on. Yeah. Were you under the covers? Yeah, I was under the covers. No, not like I was just sitting up on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> but how did she catch you? She walked in while I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> you're coming? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were coming and she walked in? Bro, I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> That bitch definitely walked in. I was like, oh my. I was so embarrassed. Girl, you know she probably told her friends. Hell yeah, she probably told her friends. Is that, is that the one who left and never came back? Nah, that was the other girl. I think that girl's name was Melissa, Natalie, some. Wow. Oh, that crazy bitch. I think they still owe me a 4.0 from her. <laughs> I think that bitch committed suicide. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, okay, turn up then. Yeah. Oh, so that was my question, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so in your opinion... Oh, actually, here. Have you ever cheated on a boyfriend because you just couldn't help yourself? Just because I couldn't help myself? Just because it's what you wanted. You couldn't You couldn't say no. No, I always cheated because I cheated... Let me think. I cheated out of revenge every time I cheated. I cheat back. Yeah. <laughs> I just, Cause I couldn't help myself. No, hell no. I know I have. Oh, you really? Yes. Cause this one dude, I was just like, oh my gosh. And don't get me wrong, me and my boyfriend at the time, we were like not on the best of terms, mm-hmm. and he was just like, you know, he don't treat you right, and he, Wait, he doesn't do you like a man should do you. And I was I just like, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> come what time me you gonna be home? Okay, come treat me right. Yeah, you can't come to my house. What time you gonna be home? Uh-huh. I'll come over there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I, when I've cheated, it was a conscientious decision to cheat. I'm finna cheat today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't like in the heat of the moment. I was like, I'm finna, I'm finna cheat on him. Like, yeah. And I, I've cheated out of revenge. Like a thief in the night. <laughs> I take anything but some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a future song? No, it's a young thug. Oh. Same difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I've only I've always cheated. Just mm. so you want to do just a couple more questions? Yeah. Okay. Sounds about right. How far are we into this rabbit hole? Hour and a half. Oh, okay. Um, if you could only have one type of sex for the rest of your life, would you choose oral, anal, or regular? Oh God. <laughs> well, you can definitely count out anal. I'm cool on your that. Your face drops. He's like, oh God. I'm cool on the anal. You really look sad. Nah, I'm gonna have to have regular. That, if I can, I really don't want to. That'd be the only thing, but that would have to be it. Mm, that's it. Because you need penetration. <laughs> <laughs> you said you need it. You need penetration. But yeah. he's his hand. Nah, fam. Okay. Everybody's fingers ain't that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Mm, what kind of porn do you like? Bitch, first of all, we've had this question before. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, no, I do it all. Um, um, have you ever fantasized about fucking someone in a position of power? Mm, yeah. Like, 
anybody, any position of power? Like uh, someone in position of power over you. Uh, well, he went over me, but he was in a, a yeah, he had a, well, yeah. I'm trying to think. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll tell you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell no, don't say that. <laughs> uh, let me see. <laughs> Bro, you go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to think. A position of power. Probably like a, a old boss or something like that. Mm. What about a teacher? Hell no. I ain't mm. no. When, Ella doesn't have no black teacher. <laughs> And they didn't have no cute ones. Somebody in college, maybe. Trinity Valley uh, didn't have no black teachers. Okay. Maybe a coach, but even the coaches at our school were old. Mm. Mm-mm. Okay. I mean, maybe my old boss, but. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. Let me see. Is this our last question? Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Have you? Hmm. <laughs> if you had to choose between being slightly overweight or slightly underweight, <laughs> slightly overweight or slightly underweight, which would you choose? Slightly overweight. Yeah, I feel like people that really can't gain no weight. <laughs> or if they do, they end up like, bruh. The only thing that be giving them weight is having babies, and even then, and they still be small. It just be their stomach. Yeah, hell yeah. no. Nah. Yeah, give me slightly overweight. I'm you, already you know there. You, you know you can lose weight. <laughs> I can lose it. Yeah. Fuck that. I do not want to. Some of these people be looking so skinny. You be like, Lord, shit, got the body of a little twelve year old boy. Do you eat, honey? Right. And, you know, black people automatically think he's sick. Yeah, yeah on drugs. Okay. <laughs> okay. For real. Okay, that was fun. That was fun. For the one year, so. I do have a couple of shout outs uh, for Let's everybody that definitely repost the flyer. If you repost the flyer, you definitely can um, what's that you out? Repost and um, shit, what am I trying to say? I don't know. But we have some shout outs. So the Sister Speak show, definitely for actually buying her tickets and reposting our flyer. Hey. People Talk Daily uh, and Deronimo from Drunken Partners and they actually have a an event going on July 28th, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. It is the Cookout and Kickback Good Vibes Only Tour, July 28th, uh, 4 p.m. Is that this house? What's it called? The Black House or whatever? I saw a picture of that house. The house looks scary as fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> I definitely um, could not be there if, it, <laughs> if the thing started at 10 o'clock. But it's free food. A uh, couple of other podcasts are coming out. Um, but yeah, the Good Vibes Only Tour. Uh, the tickets are available on Eventbrite for them. Me and uh, actually Gucci will be there because kids can come. So Aww. I bought her a ticket as well. I'm gonna try to be there if I'm not out of town that weekend. Mm-hmm. But yeah, hope. I mean, um, that's it for the shout outs. Um, oh, contest. Yes. So we do have two free tickets. Uh, to drink and drip, drink and drip, courtesy of people talk. People talk daily. Um, to be able to win this contest, all you need to do, what? How we going? How they gonna win this contest? Hmm. <sighs> how we gonna do this contest? Well, you definitely have to be following uh, here. You podcast. You definitely need to be following people talk daily. Yes. Um, for that as well, for any updates, because this these actually tickets were uh, purchased by her. Um, Maybe post the flyer, post tag the, five friends. Five friends? Yeah. And then we'll select a winner next Friday? Yeah, we'll mm-hmm. select a winner and we'll announce the winner on the next show. Okay, and then you have, it's two tickets. And you will need to use the hashtag. Oh. Hear Ye Podcast. Hear Ye Podcast and hashtag Drink, drink Drip. Drink Drip, because that's the only way we're going to find it. Yeah, really. So... <laughs> Once again, post the flyer, mm-hmm. tag five friends, use the hashtag Hear Ye Podcast and hashtag Drank Drip. Mm-hmm. And then follow People Talk Daily as and well. And Hear Ye Podcast. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And you two could win uh, two free tickets. Pull up, drink, hey. headshot, drink. So it's definitely, oh, uh, next Saturday, July 21st from 1 to 4. At Work. the artist studio in Garland, Texas. Work out, bitch. Our DJ actually has a really fun game that he's going to play. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited <laughs> for that. DJ KP, shout out to him um, for always keeping the situation live yes, and lit. Yes, sir. 
Um, and I'm just ready to have a really good time. I'm excited. It's Our paint instructor, Kara, is really, really nice. She's really cool, laid back. Yeah. Your pictures Real are laid back. amazing. <laughs> yeah, who else is going to let you smoke in a studio? <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> um, oh, do you want to do a question? You want to wait till next week? Mm. Either or. Let's wait until next week. Okay, bet. <laughs> All right. Um, follow us at Hear You Podcast. Um, you can send your questions, email emails yeah, to <laughs> questions emails sponsorships ads you know you want to say what's up to us shout us out at hear you podcast hear you podcast at gmail and hear you podcast on all social media platforms um you can find me at who that underscore breezy b-r-e-e-z-y on instagram and where can they find you at and you guys can find me on instagram and twitter at tana taught you that is T-A-N-N-A-H taught you. Mm-hmm. And make sure that you are sharing this episode with your friends, that you're posting it, that you're like, your rate, about subscribe. It. All that shit. All that. I'll leave it. All that. All right. So I think that's it for this week. All right, bros. You ready to go ahead and get on out of here? Let go. All right. And as always, shout out to everybody. I had fun. Hey. And we'll talk to y'all next week. Bye. Bye.